and Audrey in the morning, afternoon, or evening, or whenever you decide to film this. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Audrey. And this is our podcast. In the streets with, with Kate, Kate and Audrey. And Audrey. Yeah. yeah. And today we have the most special of all the, the special guests. The most special guest. My little brother. Hello. Tyler! Tyler! <laughs> I am also here. So, Ooh. Tyler, um, as per usual, what's your name? Tyler. Great. Great. Where are you from? I'm from Regina. Excellent. What's your favorite color? Purple. Purple. Great favorite color. Just Same. like Kate and Cadence. Yeah. Lots of purple lovers. Lots of purple the lovers in the room. Lots of lots of purple lovers. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Magenta said her favorite color was also purple. Yeah. I'm a bad host. I'm a bad host. <laughs> I will be honest, I like anything Halloween color. So orange, purple, orange, purple green. Black. I did not blue, consider purple pink. Halloween color. It is. It is a Halloween color. No, but now that I'm thinking what it makes sense, but I was thinking like orange. <laughs> <laughs> black. Just orange and black. That's it. <laughs> Jack o' lanterns. A little bit of yellow. Just a little yellow. <laughs> Just a dash. A little Just sprinkle. A, little, a, little, a tad. A tad. A hint of cadmium yellow. <laughs> Just a hint. So, um, so Tyler, you've flown in here I have. for the podcast. That's correct. We had a flying guest now. You are our first flying guest mm-hmm. who has come. Yes. And so for no other reason. <laughs> no other Not reason. Just ever. the podcast. Just the podcast. He actually leaves in about two hours for his flight. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> it's not true. We don't want them to track you. No, no, no. <laughs> we're, we're keeping them off your scent. Keeping them away. Um... You know how like hound dogs? <laughs> like, have you seen the fox and the hound? Yeah. <laughs> like the hound. I mean, they 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 sniff they sniff they, for hunting and stuff. When you're tracking something, they sniff. You know. You're worried that they will sniff my scent through the screen into the past. It's a real fear. Have you seen the person on TikTok that makes people film them and they go, "There ain't nothing but a hound dog." Yeah. That person's funny. <laughs> We're getting notifications. <laughs> I've said it in the chat like 50 times. I know. Guys, like, I I told people multiple times today. Today we're doing Secret Santa, which is very exciting. Right, Tyler? So excited. As the Santa. (laughs) Yeah, Tyler. Well, he's the elf. I'm Santa. Oh, that's right. Sorry. And he didn't want to unwrap a gift, so he doesn't get a gift. (laughs) I've been relegated to elf. (laughs) You were always elf. But basically, we have Secret Santa going on. Some people don't read the group chat and ask the same questions 700 times. Yeah. Also, all week we've been talking about it. I know. Um, this is really exciting. This episode actually, this episode comes out after um, our thing, our, after Secret Santa. So I think I can ask this. Kate, who do you have for Secret Santa? Um, I have Isaac, you who has yet to be on the podcast. He's yet to be on the podcast. But I, oh, Tyler didn't know that I had Isaac. Um, oh, and it matters to you're, me. You're an elf that doesn't you're speak. You're an elf. <laughs> um, a mute elf. But I, <laughs> basically, Audrey and I um, found a very funny idea. Actually, I stole it from Audrey. But we wrapped our gifts as things that they're not. So I got Isaac a beautiful little wallet off of his wish list that yeah. I hope he enjoys because it was exactly budget. And um, I wrapped it as a frying pan. <laughs> Except it doesn't weigh as much as a frying pan. You may be asking yourself, how does one wrap a wallet as a frying pan? And let me tell you, I don't know either. Oh, we Lots spent of two cardboard. hours. Just yeah, on the floor Audrey here. helped. Yeah, we just, in this, this here room that we're recording in today, we just sat and we stapled and we glued and we wrapped. It's really Taped. ugly. It does not look that much yeah. like a frying pan. It kind of looks like a really large magnifying glass. But Audrey, yeah. what did you do? Who did you have? I had Emerson, who was our first there guest. There we go. And um, this isn't discussed on the podcast, but Emerson's obsessed with Pokemon. So I wrapped his gift as if it were a Pikachu plushie. But it's, in fact, two kilograms of gummy worms. So <laughs> it is very heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. <laughs> and it looks like a Pikachu stuffed animal, but it's not. And it's hilarious. Tyler asked if it was a bunny. <laughs> That's what it looked like. <laughs> Because no, no one, no one looks at the tail no, first. They the just tail. look at the ears. The ears, but he's got the, the fun tail. The tail. For those who can't see, we are now miming ears. Yeah, <laughs> and tails. Ears. Well, all who can't see, because we don't film these. So <laughs> they're just audio recordings <laughs> on GarageBand, because we're professionals. And we don't exist. 
We are not real. <laughs> should we should we get a wheel going? We should totally get a wheel going. Wait, actually, Audrey, first before we start yeah. the wheel, where are you from? I'm from Yaoundé, Cameroon. Oh, yeah. I've never been. Exactly. Um, <laughs> 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 I say that as if it were not real. <laughs> Other places that I've claimed to be from. Have you been to Yaoundé? Have you been to Yaoundé? Several Cameroon? times. Several times, of course. Yeah. When was the family vacation where I wasn't invited <laughs> to Cameroon? <laughs> you just yeah. had a really long nap and we didn't want to wake you up. <laughs> in a coma? <laughs> Am I in a coma? <laughs> we are figments of your imagination. Okay, go towards the light. <laughs> no, I thought you were supposed to pull me out. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, so fun fact about Cameroon. So I'm going to throw that out oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Cameroon recently beat Brazil in the World Cup. They didn't yeah. make it to the 16, group 16, but okay. they did beat Brazil. Beef! Beef! <laughs> 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 I always forget about that. You said that was your whole chest. <laughs> it's okay, we'll figure it out in post. <laughs> <laughs> um, I cannot stand Neymar Jr. Anyways, we've See, established that. I, although I will say, so take that. Every time someone says Neymar for the past, I didn't realize that was a soccer player. I thought they were talking about Neymar from Black Panther, <laughs> and I was like, what's what's the deal with that? And I didn't get that it was a real person. No, it's yeah. a real guy. Our family <laughs> doesn't follow soccer, unfortunately. No, that's okay. Also, fun fact: so I moved provinces this year, and all of a sudden, everyone was talking about soccer in this new <laughs> province. So I was fully convinced that it was just a provincial thing, and that we just didn't care about it in Saskatchewan. No, it's just a. Turns out FIFA is just a World Cup thing, and Canada's in it. So <laughs> people are excited about it. Well, not every. Everyone's we, probably excited. We're, we're ranked the worst team. But we we made it. <laughs> we made it. We're, now, we're ranked the worst team to ever make it to the FIFA. We're oh. worse than the Brits? Yeah, we the lost Brits beat us, the, didn't they? Yeah, and also the Brits have won before. We have don't we win. We have never won. This is our first time. <laughs> but our oh, women's on. soccer since team. Our women's soccer team is cracked. We win every time. Wait, how since when? Sorry, I cut you off. Oh, we the Canadian men's team hasn't been at the FIFA since 1932, since the first one in Uruguay. So mm, um, the first one. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our. This is supposed to be our comeback moment. Well, why couldn't they wait ten more years for an even a hundred? I don't know. You know, I can't. I don't make the rules. But the women's team is cracked, and they are just killing it on the dance floor you could say anyways wheel spinning time yeah all right well i spin the wheel we've because... covered all the current events exactly we've, we've, is, we've gone over all the is this things. the penultimate episode of the season yeah oh. yeah this is the last episode of the season guys yeah well Second. except for our oh, great season ender. <laughs> no um, way oh oh, 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 oh name our junior a relevant topic you could i feel say. like that was on purpose <laughs> 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 that was not on purpose this was targeted <laughs> Someone's listening. Someone is the listening. computer's the listening. The computer's listening to us. Uh, anyways. Yeah. Stop, please. So, Neymar Jr. Neymar Jr. I, know. I didn't have a lot of opinions on this man. I don't no. He's a soccer player. He's a soccer player. Audrey, give the background. Okay, so basically... Um, you got a full biography pull, loaded up? Oh, yeah. Let me let me pull up the biography. I had not heard of Neymar Jr. until Audrey did an entire PowerPoint on him and some, some, mean, some mean things were said. Um, <laughs> you know... Okay, so Neymar Jr., his quote-unquote name, <laughs> is Neymar de Silvio Santos Jr. Um, he's born on February 5th, 1992 at 2.15 a.m. Um, his big three are as an Aquarius sun, Pisces moon, and Sagittarius rising. I was saying Sagittarius wrong, like Sagittaritis, because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> and he's a Sagittarius rising. His nationality is Brazilian, and he plays for the Brazilian national team at the FIFA. He's a quote-unquote professional footballer. Um, his place of residence is 36 Rue de Saint Saint Cloud in Boulevard Paris. Um, he his height is 175 centimeters. Uh, he weighs 68 kilograms. His shoe size is 8.5. He speaks Portuguese and Spanish, and his blood type is O positive. Wow! And, and what kind of what kind of rigorous <laughs> so, code breaking did you need to do to get all of this? How so long did this PowerPoint <laughs> take? To research. Um, I had COVID while I did this um, PowerPoint. So you had all the time <laughs> in the world. I had all the time in the world. It took me about a day. Wow. COVID Basically, really exactly. Audrey good. doesn't like Neymar Jr. No, I hate and him thus the worst. no one in our friend group likes Neymar Jr. Because nobody yeah. really Solidarity. cared <laughs> until we saw this PowerPoint. And now I'm like, how could I like Neymar Jr. Exactly. after this? Exactly. I made some great points. Um, 
Like, there's just, um, there's a photo series of him crying just on the floor. He's such a, like, he's a good, I will give the Brazilian team the benefit of the doubt. I think the Brazilians are excellent at soccer. I think Neymar Jr. is an excellent soccer player. However, Neymar Jr. is a terrible sportsman person. He sucks. He's mean. He's rude to his teammates. He's rude to other players. He's rude to, to exactly. referees. There's a video of him, I swear to God. There's a video of him literally purposefully kicking after getting a yellow card. He kicks the ball straight into a referee's face because he ah. got a yellow card. Like, it's a serious problem. That is why I hate him. I... He also is mean to goalies. And as a goalie, I dislike that. Yeah, Audrey's the best goalie ever. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm really not. <laughs> yes, you are. I go to every game, except the season's done. They lost, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but Neymar fan. Jr., not a fan, because a fan. after Audrey enlightened me of all the mean things yeah. he says in his... Because my least <laughs> favorite thing long. ever in sports is poor sportsmanship. Exactly. I played ringette growing up. Holy moly. Poor sportsmanship was the worst thing ever. When I coached, I was teaching those kids. I was like, you have to have good sportsmanship at the end of the day. We got we have the photo series going on for Tyler because yeah. Tyler has never so heard can... of Neymar Jr. <laughs> He's the worst. What do you think of Neymar, Tyler? Yeah, now that you've gone <laughs> the background, you've not gone the background. Doesn't hold a candle to Neymar, I will say. Neymar, <laughs> and that is place. Neymar. the place from Wakanda. Oh, Forever, we just watched that movie. That we watched. <laughs> we talked about it last week, <laughs> and we talked about it five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Neymar, pay I said attention. Neymar the place. Neymar the guy. Yeah. Name of the guy. Telecon's the place. Name yeah. the guy. Name was the guy. I was, very con- I was very concerned. I haven't seen the movie. I thought I might be missing. No, 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 no. Name was the guy. It totally went over my head that you said place. You just said Black Panther, <laughs> and I went, right, right, right. Yeah. No, no, no. I meant name or the guy. The place is Telecon. Yes. Of course it is. Yes. Uh, yeah, so that's Neymar Jr. Any more thoughts, Tyler, on the topic, on the subject of Neymar Jr.? <laughs> Your favorite person? <laughs> Who's Neymar Sr.? His father. His father. <laughs> Obviously. Who, who we have no opinions about? No. No. He just produced Neymar. <laughs> he produced <laughs> <laughs> He pulled him out of a hat one day. Who's to say? <laughs> Who's to say? I'm going to Google Neymar Sr. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what this man did. We're going we're gonna to figure Neymar out. Senior. Who, who are Neymar Jr.'s parents? Neymar Santos. Sorry, I probably butchered that. Senior. Okay. Neymar father. <laughs> <laughs> he's 57. He's married to a girl named Nadine, whose last name I cannot pronounce, but Audrey might be able to do it, probably. Gonzalez, I think is how you pronounce that. I probably would have said like Gonzalez or something. I would have said so, Goncalves. <laughs> it's a Sicily, so it's us. Oh, Audrey's teaching us a little bit of yeah. Spanish. Oh, actually, it's a French letter. I don't know. <laughs> it's a Portuguese name. I don't know Portuguese. Well, he lives in France, doesn't he? <laughs> Yeah, he currently lives in Paris because he plays for PSG. Wait, okay. PSG. PSG, Paris. I don't know about the Paris team. I don't know geography, but you're from Cameroon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Cameroon is a French and English speaking country. Yes. Colonized. Exactly. I knew that because I see TikToks about Cameroon a lot. Because <laughs> I've, I've, I've engraved it into your Oh phone. my gosh. I knew that because of Bibi Zahara. Neymar, Neymar, sorry, not Neymar. Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about him too much. Neymar Sr. Um, played professionally. Oh. I think. So we have nepotism on our hands. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Um, Neymar's dad was also a professional footballer, according to The Sun. Huh. So, and he's that's a very, new, he has a, a massive income looking after his famous footballing son. Nepotism. Nepotism. <laughs> Just makes him like him less. Have you guys I already hated him. <laughs> this doesn't help. Oh you my god! Done Nepo babies already on this? No. no. We could get into we it though. Can, we could but get into nepotism. One moment before we get into nepotism babies, because that's also on topic. Um, this is an article. Oh, where did it go? Wait. This is an article title, which I think is quite interesting. Neymar Senior, the puppet master behind every big move his son makes. What an oh. is this? A, is this a <laughs> dance a... mom situation? Are we on a? Does Neymar Junior need help? If he does, and he's being forced to do this by his father, I'm willing to. I'm willing to put my differences aside with him. Holy moly! There's so much on his relationship with his father. The next article says Sonda, and it's a quote: "I can never come to forgive. I can. Oh, sorry. I can come to forgive Neymar's father. No, I cannot speak. <laughs> yes. I can come to forgive Neymar, but his father never. Oh. His father must be a bad man. 
And also, oh, another cute. quote. His father is his key to many of Nay's problems. I'm assuming Nay is short for Nay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nick Nay. Nay. Nay, like the dance move. Yeah. Um, Tyler, do you anyways. know how to whip a Nay Because you're a youngster, so was that around when you were younger? I'm a youngin', so... You're, you're much younger, so... Do you, was that around in 2015? Were you born by then? <laughs> <laughs> I will... <well, I, laughs> I was quite literally born two days ago, so I could come here for ah, the podcast. That's right. yeah, two that's true. days ago, your voice so. has deep. <laughs> <laughs> it has deep. Do you say? I'm tired. Yeah. Tyler like keeps waking up at eight thirty in the morning. Why? <laughs> that is ten thirty, my time. Yeah, there's an why. Because <laughs> he's lame, and then he'll complain how tired he is all day. And I'm like, I gave you so much opportunity to sleep, and you didn't take it. Anyways, we want to talk about nepotism babies, or is, or was there anything with that? Let's go on with the nepotism babies. Yeah, t- take it away. All right, who are you? Some of you, who are some nepotism babies that you think are good and some that are bad? I think Willa Smith is a good nepotism baby because she's actually a genuinely good artist in the music I do she like creates her music. and her art that she creates. I think she is a good nepotism baby. <laughs> I need to Google nepotism baby. Yeah, I don't I, even know. That's as far as I know. I, I, some good ones. Carrie Fisher. Um, oh, that's right. Carrie Fisher was a nepotism baby. Oh, I Googled baptism babies. <laughs> <laughs> nepotism babies. Um, oh, you know what's a nepotism baby I love? Hmm. Paris Hilton. Surely because of the drama. She's I think a terrible Paris is so funny. <laughs> She's hilarious. Um, Dakota Johnson's a nepotism baby. That's true. I'm not mad about that. Dakota yeah. Johnson, Johnson's like... We're the same. We're the same <laughs> Are you on Bazaar? Yeah. <laughs> Maya Hawk. I love Maya Hawk. I think Maya Hawk's a great nepotism baby. Also because I love Maya's dad, Ethan Hawk. Because oh. he was in Dead Poet Society and he oh. slayed. And also... Both of her they, parents were Yeah, because um, they, her mom is Uma Thurman. How can I be mad about... Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke's daughter. I can't. No. I can't. Next is Timothy Shalalalome. I'm not mad about him either. No. I think he, I like, like nepotism. Yeah, it gives you a hand up. But also, like, some of these people are just genuinely extremely talented. Yeah. Like, like they, Timothy gets, like, his, like, strain of hate because he was, you know, super famous. And that happens when you're super famous. Yeah. But I actually do think he's a really talented actor. I think so, too. Like, I think he's well deserving of all of his roles. Yeah. We like got Willow and, yeah, Willow and Jaden. Willow and Jaden. The Smiths are a funny family. Maude Apatow. She was in um, Euphoria, which yeah. is something I've never watched, but I'm aware of. Yeah, and she. Was, I remember Lily reading Rose about her because people were mad about I'm, her being a nepotism I'm baby. I'm vaguely aware yeah. of Lily Rose Depp, but like also I... Yeah. People are really mad at Lily Rose Depp yeah. right now because of her modeling career. Because she denies that nepotism helped her in her modeling career. Which is a lie. But she's yeah. like 5'4 or something, so she's yeah. technically shorter than modeling standards yeah and she was like walking in like these super famous shows like to start instead of yeah. building her way up so people are a little angry about it yeah oh i will say tracy ellis right. ross is another great nepotism baby uh-huh. and um my my uh, jake uh, gyllenhaal oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I i don't like a lot of people there's a lot of people in this world i love but there's like exactly four people i despise <laughs> I didn't. Jake Gyllenhaal, Neymar Jr., this one guy <laughs> who I will not name because I know him in real life, and Kanye West. And then that's the top least favorite people. Not a fan of Kanye. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, give her back her scarf. Give yeah. Taylor back her scarf. Jake Gyllenhaal, if you're listening, <laughs> come on the podcast. Come <laughs> on the podcast, please. But also... Um, please give her back the scarf. The man has one it's good movie. It's the only movie. time we'll ask I... him. Actually, he has two good movies, I'm sorry. Um, which are uh, Donnie Darko and... Okay. He does have good movies. Have good Mans movies. can act. Mans can't act, but Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Broke back Mountain? He was in that, wasn't he? I don't know. Okay. I cut you off. Who's that Maya person you were trying to remember? Do you mm, not know? Uh, Rudolph. Oh, Maya she's Rudolph. A, she's the daughter of Minnie uh, Ripperton. Ripperton? I don't know. Singer. Artist. Someone. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Zoe Kravitz? I, Kravitz? I she think... had some odd comments back around the Batman time, didn't she? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, Zoe Kravitz is interesting. She's, uh, I don't know. Lily don't know. Collins. Lily Collins. T. Uh, so many people. Haley Bieber. Haley. Oh, I knew that because she, <laughs> yeah. she wasn't like her dad, Justin Bieber's, um, like producer, producer or something, yeah. and then they got together. Yeah. 
Brooklyn Beckham. Who is that? I don't know. The I was daughter gonna ask of David. Gwyneth Beck. Paltrow. We don't like her. Brooklyn Beckham is not a daughter. <laughs> the son of David Beckham. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow makes some interesting comments a lot of the time. Yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow is an interesting, interesting lady. Um and uh oh, who's that lady? Uh, who would she was in? Gracie Abrams. I don't know her music super well, but she's pretty popular. Yeah, are you only? Oh, you. Now this is the next one. The slice.ca one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. A lot of these are the same things. Yeah, these are just the same. The same famous people. The same people. I'm like nepotism is such an interesting thing to be mad at. I yeah. want to say like it's yeah. a hard topic. Oh, Phoebe. Dana Bohr, she was in oh. Bridgerton. She is a nepotism baby. Did not know that. Yeah. People just love to hate it right now. It's really yeah. a popular thing to hate. It's really fun. And, like, sometimes nepotism babies are not good. Like, sometimes, yeah. like, you can watch them perform, especially, like, the younger nepotism babies, and you're just like, oh. Billy Lord, that's who I'm thinking of, because she's Carrie. Oh, yeah, Billy Lord. Related to Carrie Fisher, who is related to Debbie Reynolds. Yeah. That's a long chain. I mean, nepotism. Billy Lord's Carrie Fisher's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. But they're, That's they're, how they're related. It's a lo- that one's a long chain, but they're all also, all three of those people are very they're talented. They're all very talented. Carrie Fisher, we love. We love Carrie Fisher. And mm-hmm. Billy Lord's also really good. Mm-hmm. We love Billy Lord. Anyways, final thoughts on Neptism Babies, Tyler? You pro, you against, you don't care? Um, it is a mixed bag. It is, it is a, I, yeah. I mean, it certainly helps them, but... Also, a lot of them are talented, but also that's because they've been helped. So that's it's true. it's like like it's a, it's like a double-edged sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that like, made no sense. But you get no, it's like it's like so a, that's a saying. It's like a cycle. Like they yeah. say that they could say that a kid is talented and therefore deserves to be in the industry, but they're also talented because they had connections in the industry. That's true. Yeah, so they were able to skip some steps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Also, yeah. a lot of child actors are nipped to the babies, and child acting is its own brand of awful category of yeah. should this be allowed. We'll add that to the wheel. Later. It'll be discussed. All right, well, one more wheel spin. I think we got time for one more. We got time, we got time for, for one more. more. Hopefully it's something you can talk a lot about. Yeah. Here we go. Here we are. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I did not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Being, Being a, a woman, woman in the Victorian, Victorian era. Which is something, Tyler, I'm sure you know uh, a lot, lot about. about. A heap about. <laughs> uh, so much about being a woman in the Victorian era. Yes, I could sum it up in one word. Petticoats. Petticoats. Mm-hmm. Love that. I think the point of this one was that we would do a whole podcast episode as if we were in the Victorian era. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think that was what that was for because it was like a it was a spoof on like yeah. all the alpha male podcasts. It was. Like the, it was supposed to be something like that. So, we just pretend we were Victorians would you having switch, a podcast. Would you switch your intro music to something more befitting of the era? Probably. Yeah, we'll save this one we'll for a rainy day. Yeah, exactly. Um, we'll, we'll... Thoughts on being a woman in the Victoria era? Great. Except, not at all. No. no. We don't have yeah. rights. No. So much poisoning from so many different things. So much, so much arsenic. But the dresses. Everywhere. The dresses, the dresses are dresses lit. are pretty cool. They're for me, but a lot of them had the poisoning in them. Yeah. That's okay. Lead poisoning, arsenic poisoning, all the poisonings. R.I.P. Next. Next. Great stuff. Moving on. One more spin then. One more spin. Why not? One more spin. One more spin. Last spin. <laughs> Last spin. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is something. The back rooms. The back rooms. The back rooms. Tyler, the back you rooms. know about the back rooms. I uh, certainly do. You want to talk about it? Is, yeah. is the reason this was added because people are talking about how they think... Okay, so if you don't know, the back rooms are this like... It's like a liminal spaces thing. It's been around on the internet for a while. It's kind of like a little like lore thing. and It got really popular in the past few years. It's essentially like the idea of no clipping which i don't fully understand myself but essentially you're transported into this weird this weird space with which is like think like an office an abandoned office building um and it's kind of just like a weird space and now that's that's supposed to be like an endless labyrinth that you're trapped in forever and it's kind of just like a weird creepy like like those creepy pasta things it's like that but people are getting uh, mad about it now because they think that um, they're they've people have added to the lore by saying there's like monsters and different levels that you can go to and there's a way you can escape and whatnot and people are mad about that because they think it ruins it. I didn't know people were mad about that. I thought that was part of it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Well, it's part of it now, but the like the original thing is just the one is just like the one room and people are 
you've just gotten angry now that there is like there's more things and they and people have added to the lore and I don't know why um I do watch those TikTok videos of like the fictionalized explorations of the different rooms because they're cool. They are cool and people like somehow make them look real and then I'm scared that I'm going to wake up in the back room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I once had a dream not where I was in the back room, which is a great thing. That's so <laughs> scary. Um, I'm going to give you the condensed version because that's really, really interesting. So uh, we were on um, Vancouver Island, which if you didn't know, was an island... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it still it was is. I was like, did it sink? Oh, Andre, what did you do? It's an island in BC. It's where Victoria is, which is a place that I have once claimed to be from. Yes. Um, have you ever been to Victoria, Tyler? I don't think we've ever been to Victoria, Kate. I mean, we, we I've been to Victoria. Kate's been. Oh, you, well, you've been. I don't think I have. But you've gone okay. to Cameroon without me, so who's to say? Who's <laughs> to say? Um, um, but also, if you're Canadian, Tofino. Think Tofino. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> um, so basically, <laughs> <laughs> you going on your dream, Audrey. <laughs> so basically, um, there was like this, like no clipping, and then you end up in the back rooms, right? But it wasn't like your standard back rooms esque. It was giving more like it was not like other girls. It was not like other girl back rooms. It was it was very like um, think uh, museum. <laughs> it was like a someone just walked in on us in the podcast because we're not recording in Audrey's dorm. <laughs> so someone just and a guy that I don't like to. <laughs> Is he one of the four? No. No. <laughs> anyways, continue. Um. Anyways, so like it's like a museum and like there's a lot of people there and you just kind of like you join a tour group and there's tour guides that take you through the back room. What's so in the museum? museum? It's like just like a history of like the world. So like you go through like you see dinosaurs. It's like a museum of natural history. Cool. Or like a museum of history. <laughs> so just or an like, art gallery. It's just a museum. This doesn't sound like the record. This just sounds like you had a dream about a museum. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then it gets worse. Okay. Um, and then I was like, we get to like about like Rome, and I'm bored. So then I decide to go exploring on my own. And then this is where we get lost. Uh oh. In the back rooms, and no. now you, you you've gone out of the tour group, out of the museum part, and now you're lost in the back room. And then I found this little like atrium looking thing. That has like this window and i see that it's like this really big building and of course the logical thing to say is if i get to the top of the building i can get out because that's of course how you get out of buildings is going to the top <laughs> so uh long story short there's monsters human trafficking something sells um uh, a carnival all sorts of shenanigans ensue eventually you make it to the top of the floor we're skipping over all the important bits there. But eventually, I make it to the top floor. And I'm like, hooray. And I go to the customer for this. And I'm like, all right, where's the door to leave? And they're like, right this way. You go through the door. And then I wake up. But I'm a tour guide in the museum. Yeah. See, that's the thing. In the back rooms, if I remember my, my wiki exploration correctly. So there's like no correctly, way out. It was, like, there was, it was very There was meta. rooms labeled the end. But there were rooms labeled actually the end as well. Because there was one that was called like the end. But it wasn't really the end. Yeah. It just, I think it like just took you back to the beginning. And then... To actually get out, you had to go to this library um, and yeah. type into a computer some crap. Yeah, um. I don't know. But in my dream, I like the end was you were part of the museum. So all the people that worked at the museum were people that had previously gone lost, yeah. found the way out, but the way out was ah. just back into the museum. The, the thing is, too, oh also with the back rooms, people have linked them in their minds with the SCP Foundation, um, which makes it even more complicated. Mm. Definition! SCP Foundation. Uh, that's the another fictional universe thing um, from the internet. It's like it's a fictional like organization that takes care of these weird monsters um, and some and some kind of like there are entire books of these monsters. And I was are. super into creepy pasta like years ago, like in middle school. Like I could tell you anything about Slenderman, um, the Black Eyed Children. I don't know if you guys remember those. Those creep me out, but I still love reading about them. Like all that like earlier stuff, Jeff the Killer. Like, oh, yeah. that stuff, I can tell you about. But once we get to the back rooms, I'm lost. <laughs> I don't think it's new, but I just never heard about it in middle school. Yeah. Um, yeah, now we're at time now. So now we can, just, like, wrap it up. Um, oui, mon any ami. final thoughts that you want to share with the world? Final thoughts. Kate and I went to a production of the Rocky Horror Show last oh, night. Oh, how was it? Um, not as good as it could have been. It oh. was good, but like Tyler's gone to the Rocky Horror Show what three times this year? Yes. Three this times this year. Time. We both went last year. I was concussed. Don't recommend it. It's very loud. <laughs> um, but it's a good show. Uh, but they cut out like 
most of the really fun important parts also oh. with rocky horror i don't know how familiar you are with it but there's call outs yeah yeah so and like then, yeah. yeah and so the audience like let's say they'll say a name of a character and yeah. the audience all shout one thing yeah that's not appropriate for the podcast yeah um but so they didn't have time for that like they didn't pause for it so oh. tyler was just doing them yeah making people laugh but like they didn't have time for it even though at the beginning they were like yeah like do call outs so it was kind of weird also they oh. cut out like they cut out important pieces like, of really the actual musical. Parts. Like the the standard musical should be like two two and a half hours long with the intermission. We yeah. were there for two hour like we were there I for think less an hour time. and forty five minutes. An hour and forty five minutes. So like, it was really oh, it was no. really short. It was good and the actors were all great, but like it was weird. It was not yeah. what it should have been, and they were they were missing some stuff. Also, Kate did. <laughs> Tyler Kate, was Kate, mad. Kate had some thoughts. <laughs> about I didn't <laughs> like one of the people's voices, and Tyler's really taken it to heart. I just Dang. yeah. Oh, well, round of applause for the Rocky Horror and for Tyler. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Next week's episode, which we'll be filming in about 15 minutes after this. Yeah, actually we have um, 18 minutes. <laughs> 18 minutes until the next one starts filming. Um, it's our season finale, uh, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be super exciting. Um, until then, thank you, Tyler, for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. Of course. It was, it was a delight. We we're super excited to have you. We hope to have you on again. Uh, Kate, any final thoughts? Uh... Shout, Shout out, out to, to Bella, Bella who's, who's not, not in the room. room. I forgot what you were saying. <laughs>